When you first start working with a data set, it's good practice to take a note of its dimensions, how many rows or observations, and how many columns or variables the data frame has. You learned how to do this in the previous video. You also learned how to take a quick look at the list of variables in the data set. In this video, we will delve deeper into the categorization of variables as numerical and categorical. This is an important step, as the type of variable helps us determine what summary statistics to calculate, what type of visualizations to make, and what statistical method will be appropriate to answer the research questions we're exploring. There are two types of variables, numerical and categorical. Numerical, in other words, quantitative variables, take on numerical values. It's sensible to add, subtract, take averages, and so on with these values. Categorical, or qualitative variables, take on a limited number of distinct categories. These categories can be identified with numbers. For example, it is customary to see the sex variable coded as zero for men and one for women, but it wouldn't be sensible to do arithmetic operations with these values. They are merely placeholders for the levels of the categorical variable. Numerical variables can be further categorized as continuous or discrete. Continuous numerical variables are usually measured, such as height. These variables can take on an infinite number of values within a given range. Discrete numerical variables are those that take on one of a specific set of numeric values where we are able to count or enumerate all of the possibilities. One example of a discrete variable is number of pets in a household. In general, count data are an example of discrete variables. When determining whether a numerical variable is continuous or discrete, it is important to think about the nature of the variable and not just the observed value, as rounding of continuous variables can make them appear to be discrete. For example, height is a continuous variable. However, we tend to report our height rounded to the nearest unit of measure, like inches or centimeters. Categorical variables that have ordered levels are called ordinal. Think about a survey question where you're asked how satisfied you are with the customer service you received, and the options are very unsatisfied, unsatisfied, neutral, satisfied, and very satisfied. These levels have an inherent ordering, hence the variable would be called ordinal. If the levels of a categorical variable do not have an inherent ordering to them, then the variable is simply called categorical. For example, do you consume caffeine or not? Let's take a moment to go through the variables in the high school and beyond data set. Using the glimpse function, we can obtain a list of the variables in the data set and also see what the values stored in these variables look like. The first variable is ID, which is an identifier variable for the student. Strictly speaking, this is a categorical variable, although the labeling of this variable is likely not that useful since we would not use this variable in an analysis of relationships between the variables in the data set. It's equivalent to having the names of these students. The next variable is gender, and it's categorical with levels male and female. There is no inherent ordering to these levels, no matter what anybody tells you. So this is just a categorical variable. Same is true for the race variable. Socioeconomic status, on the other hand, has three levels, low, middle, and high, that have an inherent ordering. Hence, it is an ordinal categorical variable. School type and program are also both categorical variables with no inherent ordering to their levels. The remaining variables are scores that these students received in reading, writing, math, science, and social studies tests. Since these scores are all whole numbers, and assuming that it is not possible to obtain a non-whole number score on these tests, these variables are discrete numerical. Next, you'll practice identifying variables in a different data set.